For me, the end of the year is a time for reflection and recognition. And looking back, 2022 was a year of incredible innovation for our company and our industry. But for us, it can never be just about technology for technology's sake. It has to be about what people are able to do with that technology. And over the past year, that has meant being able to do more and often much, much more with less. In the midst of so many historic constraints, people and organizations have turned to digital technology to amplify what they can do and what an organization, a community, and ultimately the world can achieve. In Portugal, Edgar Simoes connected refugees to resources like food and first aid in just days with almost no programming experience. In the US, Jilka Kumar matched neurodiverse applicants to jobs, increasing their access to employment and improving retention rates using AI to identify strengths that are too often overlooked. In Ireland, Evan O'Brien and Esalt Ward redistributed literally tons of surplus food to local communities in need addressing food insecurity. In Ghana, Mrunal Shetty and his colleagues at UNICEF delivered more than a billion doses of life-saving vaccines to lower-income countries, marking a turning point in our fight against the pandemic. And around the world, people came together virtually to meet the recipients of the Nobel Peace Prize and share their own visions of peace. There are so many other examples. Gary Beer, a firefighter at the East Midlands Airport who created tools that'll save valuable seconds and likely lives in the case of an incident. Agris, a startup in Japan which applied AI to address shortages in farm labor. Fusion teams at American Airlines, which improved turnaround times at Gates. Coca-Cola HBC, which reduced energy usage in their plans. Toyota, H&R Block, Peace Parks Foundation. All these stories exemplify what it means to do more with less. And the ingenuity and the passion of each of these people and teams inspires me. Thank you for taking your creativity and harnessing it with technology to go after some of the world's hardest challenges in 2022. And I'm looking forward to what we'll be able to achieve together in the year ahead.